hours until 8 p.m. to assist with any rescues as people try to beat the heat. Meteorologist Jeff Smith here with a first look at the forecast. Jeff, and first of all, keep in mind if you're headed to the beach and you'll be tempted to do so with this heat and humidity, there's a high risk of rip currents at the New York City and Long Island beaches. There's a heat advisory right through tomorrow for New York City and western Long Island, northeastern New Jersey. It actually goes through Friday for central and southern parts of New Jersey. Heat index values of 95 to 100 degrees. Right now you might say, oh, it's not too hot out there at 83, but the sun just came out. We're just starting to get into the heating of the day and those temperatures will accelerate upward. 84 at Somerville right now, 82 at Belmar, 81 at Islip. It already feels like 90 at Poughkeepsie and 91 at Somerville and it feels like upper 80s in and around New York City with all that humidity around. We have dew points in the lower 70s. And with all the humidity, it's not hard for the atmosphere to produce a couple of thunderstorms. And we do have a few showers now popping up. Westchester, Putnam, Dutchess counties, northern parts of Orange County, especially over parts of Sullivan County, and a batch of thunderstorms out over the east end of Long Island. I think these will become more numerous with the heating of the afternoon. Not everyone will get one, but if you do get a quick drenching downpour, it could kind of consolidate into a little line right around dinner time before it weakens as it moves out onto the island. So humid out there today, a thunderstorm in the area. Hotter, just a tad less humid tomorrow. In terms of how you feel, it might not feel that different. Steamy on Friday, humidity is back with a vengeance with a spotty storm and then becoming more active this weekend with multiple rounds of thunderstorms likely. We'll detail that in your AccuWeather 7-day forecast coming up. Sandra? Thank you very much, Jeff. A major